my name is Lexi Jong. I'm here. I like to talk about luxury beauty. And today we are going to be talking about Rodial. And Rodial is a brand that, you know, I've seen around a bit. They have a lot of skincare items, but they don't have a ton of cosmetics. But I've been really curious about things, specifically these low lighter products. And so Look Fantastic actually reached out and they asked me if I'd be willing to put up some content uh, on some Rodial Cosmetics in return for gifting these to me. So I agreed to do that and they sent over the peach low lighter, the glass powder, and the new blush drops. There are two shades. I have Frosted Pink and Sunset Kiss. I also have the mascara and they were also kind enough to send over um, the snake oil patches. So, which is a skincare item. But today we're going to be talking about the cosmetics and we're going to do a little bit of a look. I've been testing these for a full week now and let's, I'm going to bring you in closer and let's get started. So I'm going to start off by putting on some base product. So this is the Chantecai Cushion in Aura and I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my skin. And one of the things I wanted to mention about um, Look Fantastic is if you use the affiliate links that I have down below in the description box, you can get 22% off any Rodeal items. So it doesn't have to be just the ones featured here, but uh, you know, 22% off Rodeal on Look Fantastic through the affiliate links. All right, so now we're gonna go in with the Peach Low Lighter. And there are two low lighters in the range. There's Peach, which obviously is peachy, like this one here. And there's also a banana one. And the banana is like super, super brightening. I don't have that one. That one was out of stock, but it's like very, very bright. So I'm just gonna use my finger here on this side. And you can see this one here, the peach one, is gonna be more subtle than the banana. The banana is like really brightening. One of the things that is great about these products is that they really, you know, kind of stretch among skin tones. So if you, you know, you don't have to like color crack because it's pretty like translucent. So this is the mini base brush from Sonia G. Just use that on this side. And you can see what a difference using these products makes. Now, typically I use my finger just to kind of pat this out, but a brush works well also. And this is the low lighter. You don't have to just put this under the eyes, but that's pretty much what I like to do. But think of it kind of as a subtle highlight in, in a sense. Oh, I have an eyelash. So anyway, this low lighter product, it became really popular during the pandemic because you don't really have to you know, color, you know, search for the perfect color for a concealer. Next, we're gonna move into the blush drops. So this looks like a dropper here and you can use it as a dropper, but look how thick this consistency is. It is kind of a thicker product. So really um, what's recommended, we actually did a masterclass with Maria, the founder of Rodeal Cosmetics, and she recommends using the dropper more as a spatula. And, you know, she actually just puts it directly on her, her cheeks and then smooths it out with a brush. I like to put it on my hand first, and we're just gonna use a little bit here. So this shade is the Sunset Kiss, and it's a bit deeper, okay? <laughs> the, the pink one looks like it's kind of like a, you know, kind of like a bright, shocking Barbie pink, but it's really not. Let me show you that. Okay, before we move on to that though, I'm just gonna take this mini base and just kind of brush this out a little bit more because this one is a deeper shade. Um, you know, you have to be, on my skin tone, you have to be careful not using too much, but look at the sheen that you get from this product. One of the things I like about the Rodeo products is that they are all intended to be something really easy and fast to use but have some sort of transformative quality on the skin. So when you put them on, you know, it's it's fast, easy makeup, but it's not going to be the type of barely there makeup that you don't see. So look at the, the soft pink. 
you can see that that is actually going to be much more subtle i'm just going to take this brush again brush it out a little bit okay and look at that let me back you out so you can see these from a distance so these rhodiole drops you can use them on lips cheeks eyes they're one of those multi-use drops I'm just going to use a little bit of the bronzier shade, the Sunset Kiss, on my eyes. So I'm taking just like a synthetic, this is like more of like a concealer brush. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this on. And this product, it actually stays, you know, it doesn't dry down so that it feels powdery. It actually stays on your skin with a little bit more of like a silicone type finish. Like you can feel like a little bit of that slip but it doesn't feel wet and it doesn't like shift around. So I hope that makes sense. So it, that glow that you get from this product, for me, it lasts all day. All right, and then I'm just gonna take a touch of the pink one just right here on the tip and add this to the inner corner here. Just wiped off the brush and just kind of smoothing that out a little bit. So you can see how subtle this pink is and how much more bronzy the uh, sunset kisses now you can mix these into foundation uh, you know let's say you want to make something a little darker you want like an all-over bronze glowy look you can totally mix this into something um i'm just going to add a little bit of the bronze drop the sunset kiss to this side to make the two sides look more similar all right that I'll just add a, a touch of the pink up here as well I just love this glow like this sheen this glow is really impressive to me so I have tried this on but um underneath foundation as well and if you're using like one of those more sheer foundations you can totally still see some of this glow uh underneath it you know peeking through it's very very beautiful looking in my opinion you know you can really kind of just see a little bit of that sheen you can also see it underneath powder so let me go ahead and show you this glass powder here so the glass powder is one of the new products and this is what it looks like so we're gonna go ahead and use just like a light dusting this is the rougher 25 brush so it's one of those big fluffy powder brushes. And let's start off with just the right side of the face with the powder. I'm gonna bring you in close because I want you to see what this does to the pores. So this powder was designed specifically to disguise large pores. Do you look at that difference? Like, I just, I think that's like really, really amazing. You know, you can really see a difference just from a little application. And this is just a light dusting. Now, look where I put it over the cheeks. You can see how much of that glow still shines through. I mean, obviously, you know, it's more satiny versus dewy looking, but you still have that glow peeking through. I think it's a really beautiful product. So I'm going to add the powder to the other side of the face now. All right, so I think it's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and use a mascara. And you know, I think I'm gonna use something else on my lips today. And then we're gonna talk about these products. So this is the XXL Mascara. This is what the wand looks like. You can see it's kind of like a fluffy wand. This is for like volumizing and, oops. Oh, I always make a mess, there we go. Um, but look what it does to the lashes. So that's just one coat. Let's go ahead and we'll, we can add a little bit more here. Typically, I 
I personally prefer to use, you know, just like one coat. I don't like, you know, I don't like it when I add a bunch of coats and things start to get a little clumpy. So I usually just add one coat. And I like one coat of this because it makes them look feathery um, and they don't really clump. And most of the time I like to just put the mascara just on the upper lashes. For some reason during the fall and winter though, I, I put it on the lower lashes more as well. So let's just do a little bit of that here. And you can see that I think this mascara works well on the lower lashes because it's pretty easy to use. And for lips, we're going to try the new Makeup by Mario in Jessie. So that's just one light layer of this. And I think with this look, I want something a little bit glossier since everything's a little bit more sheeny. So I'm just gonna add some clear lip gloss on top. All right, so that is my quick and easy look using these Rodeo products. And I have to say that I really am impressed by these products. I really have been enjoying them. As you can see, like the powder, I think it's like a transformative powder. <laughs> I really do notice like a big difference just putting a veil of that powder on. Now, I do think if you go in and you use too much, just like any other powder, it can look, you know, not so great. I think a light dusting of powder is best with this. You can use this just straight on your skin or you can use it, you know, like without makeup if you're, say you're not wearing makeup that day you can still use this and it makes like such a big difference in the appearance. So this powder is a, it's a new item and it's been hard to keep in stock. That's where I have my swatches. So I'll put that here. So this is the, what the class powder looks like and it is translucent for most skin tones. And yeah, I just, it's a new item and it's just, it's selling out like crazy. It's a really, really nice product. Now the actual product itself now this is what the packaging looks like. You've got the, you know, faux, like uh, faux crocodile leather here. It's made in Italy. It's 18 grams or 0.63 ounces. And it has an 18 month shelf life once opened. And I just, I think it's a really nice powder. So I've been using this for a week. I was actually just going to use these products for a few days, record a video and so forth. But I just keep reaching for these. So, um, you know, I just... I, I've been using them like every day. And then the, the blush drops, I love the the sheen that you get from it. Now, as far as I know, these are the only two shades that are currently out. I don't know if they are making new shades or not. Rodeals, you know, kind of their philosophy is to just have like a few products, you know, like minimalist type quantity of products uh, that really make a big difference on the skin. These are a relatively new product as well. I think the they came out like right before the glass powder. And yeah, I mean, this sheen, this glow, I think it's gorgeous. So I really have been enjoying these a lot. And you know, it replaces your need for um, either the you know, like highlighter and blush or whatever. You can use this like for so many things. So this is the Sunset Kiss. And let me show you the um, Frosted Pink. Now I thought looking at the, the Frosted Pink when I first tried it, I thought it would be like a Barbie pink. You know, that's what it made me think of. But it blends out so naturally on the skin. I think it ends up looking really natural on my skin tone. So that's the one that you know, if I'm looking for like not too much color, more sheen, the frosted pink works great for me. The sunset kiss obviously gives me a little bit more of a color. And if I blend that out well, I think it's a really, really gorgeous look. So I'm happy having both of these shades. And yeah, I think they are really beautiful on the skin. Now, as for the texture on the skin, it doesn't feel wet. It doesn't feel sticky, but it doesn't feel like it doesn't dry to a powder finish either. I have to say like when I touch it, it just makes me feel like I have a, a thin veil of like a silicone skincare product or something down. You know, you feel a little bit of a slip, but nothing, you know, it, it doesn't move. 
So after you put it down, I wouldn't say like it's totally 100% firmly set. So if you like took a tissue and you know, you were like totally wiping your face, I'm sure it would move then. <laughs> but you know, through no normal daily activities, it stays put all day. Now I've tested these products for like 12, 13 hours and things like that because I have been wearing them so much. And I have to say at the end of the day, I can still see it. So I think that's really good. Now on the eyes, I will get a little bit of creasing using these on the eyes. So typically I don't put them on the eyes, but I wanted to show you what they what they look like on there. They're super easy to put on. And you can also use them on the lips. They uh, aren't they aren't quite as pigmented, you know, like yeah, I prefer like a, a lipstick or a lip gloss, but if you're looking for something fast and easy, it's a great all-in-one product. Now Moving on to the mascara. I think the mascara is a nice product. Um, you know, I like the mascara. I like how feathery my lashes look with it. And up to about 10 hours, it performs really well with no like flaking or anything like that. But between the 10 and 12 hour mark, um, if you look super, super, super closely, like I have to get up really close in the mirror or use a magnifying mirror, I can start seeing tiny little drops of what looked like pepper um, right underneath the lashes. And you know, at that point I've like rubbed my eyes during the day and so forth. So I wouldn't say it's like flaking on its own, but you know, for me touching it and so forth, parts do start to flake off towards the end of the day. But again, that was between the 10 and 12 hour mark. And I've tested that for a full week. So I didn't notice um, any any flaking like every day. It was actually just once out of uh, six days. So just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. But I do think it's a, a nice mascara. And then as for the low lighter, I'm really liking this low lighter. So it does kind of add a little bit of radiance under the eyes, it's more of a subtle radiance. It's not super bright like the banana version, which I don't have. But um, the peach one, it adds some radiance to help reflect the light away from your under eye area. But yet, you know, it's not going to, I mean, if you look up close at my under eye area, like you don't see product here. It's not gathering in the lines. It doesn't look like a concealer. It's really very natural. The formula that they use for this, you know, I think it's a really nice formula because all day long after 12 hours and so forth, there is no gathering of the product. You cannot see the product. You see the sheen, but you do not see any actual like product that disguises it. Unlike with a concealer where you can often see like a little bunching or something like that after a while, nothing. Uh, so I really like this and I think it just gives you a nice brightening effect under the eyes. So let me show you what this one looks like on the swatch as well. And... So here's the peach low lighter. I mean, look at that. So the peach low lighter is 5.5 milliliters and it has a three month shelf life, you know, cause again, you're putting things near your eyes. And this has a, this one is made in France. And let me just go through the blush drops real quickly. The blush drops are 15 milliliters or 0.5 ounces. They have an 18 month shelf life and they're made in Taiwan. And the mascara is 13 milliliters or 0.4 ounces, six month shelf life. So actually that kind of surprised me. I thought that in the low lighter would be the same, but six months made in Italy. So these are the shades I have. And overall, I have to say, I really do like these Rodeo products. So again, if you purchase through the uh, affiliated links down below in the description box, you can get 22% off of Rodeo items for, uh, on the Look Fantastic site. And I think they're really great products. Now, again, the glass powder and the blush drops, they go out of stock all the time. Actually, the low lighter has been going out of stock um, a lot too. This brand has really kind of picked up a lot during you know, lockdown and the pandemic. You know, it's something that a lot of people have been reaching for. So they started selling out a lot. <laughs> and I have to say that overall, I'm gonna continue reaching for these products because I really like the way that they perform on the skin. 
So I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much to Look Fantastic for gifting me these products. And I hope you guys have a great day. So thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you very soon.